Hey everybody, Jason Gee here, and I'm super excited about what just arrived today, the brand new Renogy Pro Smart Lithium Ion Phosphate Battery. The really cool thing about this particular battery is it has both self-heating and Bluetooth capability. So what we're going to do today is one, we're going to unbox this thing, we're going to um, talk about why I wanted this specific battery. We're going to go over its features and functions and then we're going to install it in my truck camper and run some tests. So let's get into some of the specs associated with this Renogy Pro Smart Lithium Ion Battery. First of all, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery. The normal voltage it's a standard 12 volt um, battery. The capacity on this battery is 100 amp hours. The total energy is 1,280 watt hours of energy. The battery dimensions, it's a 10 and a half by 7.6 by 7.9, which is about the exact same size as a 24 series battery. And the weight on this battery is amazing, coming in at just under 27 pounds. So the comparing that to a lead-acid battery that's going to be more around 40 or more pounds. So let's get this thing open. So we have, it looks like the owner's manual and some Renogy empowered stickers. We got the battery terminals and we've got two of them or two extras, which is nice. Pretty packed in here. It's got uh, two really nice handles on the side, um, making it easy to lift out of there. Pretty uh, sleek design on this battery. I like the, the angles and how uh, streamlined it is. So now that we've got this thing unpacked, let's talk about the three reasons that I wanted this specific battery. First, it's a lithium ion battery and it's 100 amp hours. Second, the health, the self heating functionality is critical for my particular uses. And third, the Bluetooth capability. So this Renogy lithium ion battery is 100 amp hours. Today in our truck camper, I have two 80 amp hour lead acid batteries. So I will be taking this particular battery and replacing both of those lead acid batteries. And by doing that, I'm going to get equal to or even more usable amp hours from this one battery than I would have been able to get from the lead acid batteries because I can only run those lead acid batteries down to 50% of their battery life. The other benefit of this battery is that I'm gonna be able to remove 50 pounds or more of battery weight from that truck camper, which is really critical because you know, we're getting close to our gross vehicle weight on that truck camper anyway. And so now I can actually take different things that are more valuable to me than just battery weight in the truck camper. The other main reason I wanted this battery is the self-heating capability. So the reason I have not put a lead or I put a lithium ion battery in our truck camper yet is because we use it primarily in the winter where temperatures can get down to 20 below zero. And most lithium ion batteries, they will not charge if it's too cold. So I was just out in the truck camper a minute ago and it was 20 degrees. If this was just a standard lithium ion battery, I wouldn't be able to charge it right now. But because this has the self-heating capability and it will start heating when the battery gets lower than 40 degrees, this particular battery will work for us when we're skiing and snowboarding. 
So after running the heater all night in the truck camper, I can go turn the truck on in the morning and the DC to DC charger will charge this battery because of the self-heating capability. So the third reason I wanted this particular battery is because it has Bluetooth. So we have other Renogy batteries in our trailer and the nice thing about that Bluetooth capability is that I can use the Renogy DC Home app and I can actually monitor how much battery life I have, how fast the battery is charging, and also the utilization. Because this is going in our truck camper and all of our battery monitors that we'll have will be in the truck camper, because of the DC, the Renogy DC home app, we'll be able to actually check and monitor the battery while we drive to see how it's progressing and charging without having to get out and look at the battery monitors in the camper. So first, I just want to see what this battery voltage is right out of the box. So if I test it with the battery tester, it's coming in at 13.12. So I already have the DC Home app on my phone because I have other batteries and DC to DC chargers hooked up. So to hook this battery up, I'm just gonna come up over here and say add a device, and it's gonna search for this battery. It's already found it. I'm gonna confirm. So out of the box, this battery is reading it fit, charged to 56%. The maximum capacity, it's saying it's a 104 amp hours. Um, present capacity is 58 amp hours. And the present voltage, which we just saw on the other, the voltmeter is 13.2 volts and that's right out of the box. So let's go get this thing. All the cells are reading similar voltage. So let's go get this thing set up in the truck camper. So this is the truck camper that we're gonna put the new Renogy battery in. And I've already opened up the battery compartment on this. And currently here are the two 80 amp hour lead acid batteries that we need to take out to put the new um, Renogy Pro battery in, in its place. So here are the two lead acid batteries. I just weighed them and they're 45 pounds each. So this is 90 pounds of batteries. And by taking these out of the truck camper, I reduced the battery weight by 63 pounds. It's crazy. So I shut off the power to the batteries, took out the lead acid batteries, and this is the new Renogy Pro battery in the place. And you can even see I gained significant amount of space where those two lead acid batteries used to be. Next, I just need to hook it up and we should be good to go. So the battery is hooked up I just turned on the truck, and because this is a new truck camper, I don't even have the DC to DC hooked up yet. So this is just charging from the, uh, uh, the seven um, pin coming from the truck. And right now I'm charging at 4.75, 4.76 amps uh, coming from the truck, which is why I put the DC to DC on the um I'll be hooking up the DC to DC. But if I go to the Renogy app, you can see that um, I'm also, the present current charge is 4.4 um, amps and we're at 58.83 um, amps um, now in the battery. So still at 56%. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and then uh, um, I'm gonna hook it up to um, uh, 120 and uh, charge this battery up from that for now. 
So I just turned off the truck and plugged the camper into um, 120 into the house. And right now the battery is charging uh, about 3.37 amps um, coming in using the truck camper and just 120 to charge the battery. Good morning. So the battery's been charging all night and I just got out to the uh, truck camper and the temperature out here is 28 degrees. So um, it's been kind of cold. Um, the Thankfully, the battery has the uh, self-heating capability and so it continued to charge all night. Uh, it's right at the point where it's just trying to uh, top itself off. So if I go to the Renogy DC Home app, you can see that um, we're at about 96.5%, but the uh, present um, capacity is already over 100 amp hours, and we're just kind of trickling in at about 1.6 amps um, right now. And the battery temperature, I changed that from uh, uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, and the battery itself is right now at about 39 degrees. So everything seems to be working perfect, and uh, so far, um, pretty happy with the fact that the uh, um, truck camper's converter is capable of charging up this battery and getting it to a full charge. Um, still looking forward to um, installing the DC to DC um, so that I can try, um, put in quite a few more amps, um, up to 20 amps uh, while I'm driving uh, the truck. So now that the battery is in, um, I'm super excited to put it through its paces this winter and really put this thing to use. Um, this is the first of many installs that we need to do on this truck camper. So the next thing that I'll be doing is I'll put in, be putting in the DC to DC um, with MPPT charge controller that I've used in my travel trailer as well as my truck camper. Um, that way, um, as the weather gets warmer too, we'll, we'll look at uh, putting solar, uh, flexible solar on the roof. Um, just need to measure out the dimensions to determine how much solar we can put on this truck camper. Um, the other things that we'll be doing is we'll be putting in a thousand watt um, inverter and then also um, some battery monitors. So um, looking forward to more <laughs> Renogy projects uh, down the road um, so that we can really get this thing dialed in for the winter, but also um, for some summer trips that we have planned too. Hope this video has been helpful. Um, please uh, like and subscribe as well as I would love to hear your comments and feedback on this battery and uh, you know, your thoughts on how you would use a battery like this in your applications. Um, I'll also um, provide a link to the Renogy website as well as a link specifically to this product and um, look at other Renogy products as well. Um, you know, they make a lot of great products and uh, we've been really happy with them over the years as well. So thanks again, everybody, and enjoy.